everyone. It's me, Wes, for the hippie.com, and I'm out here with the bees today. It is January 11th, and it's a beautiful day, and all the bees are out um, doing their cleansing flight. I was out here earlier watching them carry and fly away the dead bees and I was unaware that they actually even did that but I sat here and watched it and they actually pull the dead bees that have died over the winter out of the hive and fly them away I mean they must drop them around the yard or something I see a lot around the base underneath the openings and stuff they and uh, I mean you can see them down here the dead bees that are brought out and there's a little tissue there you see that tissue there that's from the candy boards this top part of the hive you'll see there's one just under the cover I put candy boards on this uh, last fall those are sugar and water uh, mixed together and uh, I make like a candy a hard coated candy and I pour it into the cover and I put it on there and they eat that throughout the winter to stay healthy now here in the fall in the winter January 11th we got a warm day and it's good to see that there's activity at all the hives and that's good that means they're all still doing good and um, you know some years some beekeepers lose 25 percent of their hives and I don't want to lose any so I medicated them well to protect them from disease and I fed them well this winter so I've got healthy bees here in January and they're doing their thing and they're out uh, cleaning the hives out getting the dead bees out they come out and go to the bathroom on these uh, few warm days there's not much food to collect but they do house cleaning and hopefully there's enough food in the hives March is the tough time that's when most bees starve to death that's what usually gets them not the cold but starving to death in the late winter when there's no food now I put extra food in there early in the winter so they probably ate that but they still have their honey stores and I won't be going into the hives until around April 15th that's when I go in to medicate them and uh, take the candy boards off and put uh, maybe uh, um, also keep them from swarming I'll go in then and uh, take out some brood chambers so they don't uh, swarm this year and uh, I don't lose any bees that way and then shortly after that the honey supers go on uh, uh, in May and they stop making honey but so far they're doing really good this winter and now uh, that's all for now I just wanted to show you how the bees are doing on a beautiful day it's in the 50s here and uh, they're out doing some house cleaning throwing out all the dead bees and uh, any tissue that from the candy boards I put in there for their food they don't want they throw anything inside the hive that uh, they don't want they throw out they try to they try to keep the inside of the hive as clean as possible they're clean bees but uh, that's it for now hope you have a great day that's all for the hippie.com.